I was scared and nervous and I was in shock. This is how the 22-year-old female described the emotion she felt after she was allegedly raped by former UFC fighter John Tuck last year. He picked me up and put me against the wall and started taking off my shorts. Tuck is on trial facing multiple counts of criminal sexual conduct charges for sexually assaulting the victim in the early morning hours of March 4, 2020 in Tumon. The victim testified that as she was exiting Jardy's restaurant, Tuck, who she did not know at the time, asked her to go smoke. He grabbed her hand and took her across the parking lot to behind the Weston Chapel and forcefully pushed her up against the wall of the chapel. The victim, who testified that she weighs 83 pounds and stands at 5 foot 2, was unwillingly stuck in the position, being sexually assaulted by Tuck for roughly 15 minutes. And she testified that right after the alleged assault, he said this to her. He said, no one can know about this. Further, the victim testified that immediately after she re-entered the restaurant and told her friend of the alleged rape, both the victim and her friend confronted Tuck and caught it on video. Why did you feel that you needed to provide these videos? Because I was scared. I didn't know if I was... I was traumatized and I didn't know if I was going to come back. The reason why you wanted to press charges was it because you wanted, you thought maybe he might take you? No. Did you get any money from No. That same day, the victim reported the assault to the Guam Police Department and also went to Healing Hearts Crisis Center where she was assessed and Dr. William Weir performed a rape kit. Dr. Weir testified as an expert witness in sexual assault and was asked to recall her case. She reported being uh, assaulted physically. Uh, she reported digital penetration of both the vagina and the rectum. And she reported penile uh, penetration of the vagina. Further, the victim testified that within a couple days after the incident, she got on the next flight back home to the States, as she was only visiting Guam and working as a dancer at Foxy's. She has since been diagnosed with PTSD and severe anxiety. When I came home from Guam, I immediately started seeing therapists. We should add that prior to today's witness testimonies, defense counsel Randy Cunliffe requested the court to terminate the video streaming, and Judge Maria Senzon granted the request. Media was only permitted to listen to audio of Tuck's rape trial. In addition, the Superior Court of Guam has barred media from the third floor of the courthouse, where the trial is occurring in the Supreme Court room. Trial resumes tomorrow afternoon.